Right, we are back with another one. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but we are talking about the Rode Video Micro 2. It's um, it's a fantastic little microphone that's very, very compact. They call it ultra compact. I mean, it's in my hand right now, right there. Tiny, tiny little thing. And you know what's fantastic about it? No batteries. You don't need a single battery for this microphone. It's never going to die on you. The amount of times I've been recording something, I put it on my computer, I'm like, oh no, the battery was dead. This uses the 3.5 millimeter cable to pull energy out of whatever you've got it in. So your smartphone, your camera, your computer, I don't know. It's going to pull energy out of it and use it. So you don't need batteries. It has no controls. There's not one single button on this thing. And it has no switches. Plug and play for $79. Now, the original video micro, the number one, Popo. This is the Video Mic Go 2, by the way. And this is the microphone I always use on my talking head. And I really like the sound of it. And it's simple and it has no batteries. It's fantastic. The original Video Mic Micro, sorry, Video Micro 1, I used way before Rode got in touch with me. Way before, because Rode sends me, like, basically a ton of stuff. And I really do appreciate them. They are fantastic. I used it in a vlog you can see up here. Um, I filmed at NAB. Actually, I'm going back to NAB. After all, you know, the pandemic and everything in two weeks. So I cannot wait to meet everybody again. But I used it back then. I had like 90 odd subscribers and it was really awkward. But I was vlogging on the Video Micro 1. I trust in this microphone and I'm really happy they brought out a new improved version, which comes with a Helix isolation mount. It looks wild and crazy. And you basically get your microphone and you slide it in until you see these two little arrows meet the tip of the Helix isolation. And that's it. It's ready. It's basically ready. Now, in the box, you also get a Dulux, Dulux um, foam windshield, which you basically stick on the front. Boom. You're done. You're ready. You're ready. And you get a furry dead cat wind muff like this. It's nice. It's furry. And you get two cables because you can use this with your smartphone or you can use it with your camera. I will use it with my camera because I hate filming on my smartphone. But if you do use it for your smartphone, you've got a nice little sexy red cable, which on one side has a gray end, on the other side has a black end. The black end is for TRS, so it's got two rings. The gray end is for TRRS that goes into your smartphone. Or you get a nice cable, a flat one, so you can maneuver around your camera with TRS to TRS, so that is for your camera. So it's easy to remember and, you know, I mean, let me show you, let me let you hear what this sounds like instead of the microphone you hear me hear me with every single time it's going to go silent for a second but don't worry i am here right 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 that's it that is it the it's it's basically my fingers it's 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 there it's there and this is what it sounds like with the same settings I have on the Sony A7S III that I use with the Video Mic Go 2. I have so many microphones, I don't know. But that's the one I use, and it's fantastic, and I do love the sound of it. So this is what the Video Micro 2 sounds like. And why don't we use it? Instead of talking all this stuff, it's all metal body, by the way, and it weighs 39 grams, just in case you wanted to know. Let's use it on the camera. So let me walk around the studio so you can hear what it sounds like me vlogging because it is a shotgun microphone. So it's going to reject the sides and the back and it's going to take all the beautiful sound in from the front. And then let's go quickly outside, put on the wind muff. And, you know, I hate, I feel so cringy vlogging, but let's go outside and um, I might talk to you for 30 seconds outside just so you can hear what it sounds like. It is windy. So this should do a, you know, a good test out there. Let's do that. Are you guys there? All right, so I'm using the Sony 20 millimeter f1.8 and you are now on my camera. And this is what my studio looks like. This is where I was just talking. Um, this is my Zen room. By the way, my studio has an incredible amount of um, echo. So sorry about that, but this is my Zen room. So like I have like, you know, a sofa here, sofa bed, like some, you know, bean bags and I edit here and this is my studio so if you come in here with me this is what my studio likes likes looks like so you know I've, I've got a 
funky Darth helmet right there. Look at that. The halo gun. Oh, this is one of my favorite things. This is the National Lampoon's car. That was hard to find. Mugwai. You see Mugwai right there? Hello. Yeah, and um, basically, Amaran strips all the way down there. Amaran, 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 everywhere. I do love Amaran. My top-down rig is right here. That's what it looks like. This is my upper top-down rig where I use the, the actual TV screen as a background. And my gear room is in here. So this is what my gear room looks like. It is wild. So yeah, so now what we're going to do, now that you've heard me speak in this extremely echoey, echoey room with this microphone, um, in fact, let's, let's twist it around so you can hear what the signs sound like. So now I am on the right-hand side of the microphone and right now I'm behind the microphone. So right now I'm showing you the thumbnail I was shooting yesterday. Now I'm on the left-hand side of the microphone and now I'm back in front with the microphone. So I think these tests are very important so you hear what it sounds like, not just showing you B-roll and, you know, blabbering on about it, but let's go outside, stick on the furry wind muff, um, and um, yeah, let, let's see what it sounds like outside. I'm sorry for my vlogging outside. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my, I haven't vlogged for ages, and um, I'm at ar an arm's length because I have the PGY Tech uh, Mantis Pod 1 on my camera, and um, or the camera on it. And this is what it sounds like. It does have the wind muff, the dead cat on, and it's an arm's length. So, I mean, I'm still using the same settings. I haven't changed anything. Remember, plug and play, 39 grams. I can hardly feel this thing is on the camera and it's really tiny, so you don't have to worry about anything. What does it sound like? Well, I've done quite a few tests. I've used it quite a lot and it sounds really great. I do like how it rejects sound, you know? It does a really good job at that. And if you're worrying about it not having too many controls and stuff, you don't have to, because as you can hear, the sound quality is insanely good. It feels really weird, weird being outside and vlogging, because I've been inside all winter, but I guess i got to get used to it. <laughs> I just, um, I feel always cringy when people are looking at me when I'm vlogging. So I have like one eye at the camera, I have one eye looking at everybody else who's looking at me. And um, yeah, so this is a real world test of me all walking around. It's a little bit windy today, so I'm sure the wind moth is helping. And um, oh, this, this, this place is beautiful. They've just finished renovating it behind me here. It's um, going to be a children's theater. So check that out right there. Yeah, Poland is up and coming, up and coming. So, if you're looking for links, you're going to find them down below in the description for the Video Micro 2 from Rode. Thank you, Rode, for sending it out. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. This is my honest opinion on this fantastic little microphone. And, you know, the best thing about it, it doesn't require batteries. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Catch you on the next one. Oh, comment, subscribe, like, all that jazz, you know. I got you.